Come on, do you see that lag? Really? Oh yes, like a boss. <laughs> Wait a second. Um, what am I getting? This game is lagging a lot. Why is it lagging so much over here? What am I trying to... Oh, the key is there. Okay, that hurts. He doesn't lag over here. I'll just have to get past this level and hope it doesn't lag as much. Why is it lagging on so far? I don't understand. God damn it, I almost did it. Okay, that's slightly better. It was just being weird. Ow. Okay, it's still doing it a bit. I'll just have to get this level and make it to. Go, 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 go. Oh, wait, I have to survive, don't I? It better not lag now and kill me. That'd be so annoying. Yes, okay, right. So the next level is good, but if it isn't, I'll stop and start recording. Just for now. God damn it. Wait, where am I going? Oh, damn it, I didn't see that bit. Go! Okay, oh god. Damn it, I'm gonna have to fall back down and do it again, aren't I? Okay, maybe not. There we go. Right. No luck for me. Okay then, just die instantly. I don't mind that. Damn it, I thought I'd touch you then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what she's heard. Ooh. Oh crap. Come on, Brosif. Nope. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do it awesomely. S salt! Salt! Snake! Why did I say that? What? God damn it! Every time I could have done it, I do something dumb and it doesn't work for whatever reason. I'm dead. Whoa! I just glitched past it. Did you see that? That's what happens when you're on a game like this. You glitch past everything. And you're there like, ooh, that was. <sighs> that was pretty good. Mass Effect 3 multiplayer, I just thought I could do a bit of that. They won't ruin the story, so. How did that not- This is stupid, I touch it every single time, I swear I do. Ah. <laughs> Just leave me alone. Right. Touch. Go! <laughs> Climb! Hi. Don't mind me. Uh, hi. Oh, almost got me then, didn't you? Ah, fail. Oh yes, I'm up to the box. Hold on. I'm going to adjust my health. This there. Turn this a bit. Okay, I'll probably be a lot quieter now, actually. Try and get it out there. Probably be a bit quieter. Though. I'll have to make it louder. I've moved back there. It's getting too hot. And why am I replaying this level again? Exit to map, another exit game. Right, um, yeah. This. Let's save her. We're a hero! We'll be a hero! No! He's having a shit. Oh well, I good. He's got like one of them avatar suits. Like a mechanic and mech, basically. What's he been eating? Actually, I don't know. Oh god. Apparently he's been eating me, and it's come out the same. Except browner. <laughs> and it stinks. Why are they killing us though? 
No, not salt. What is that supposed to be anyway? I think it's like a little worm or something. Ow. I'm going to beat this guy in a race of epic, epicness. Because I'm so... Oh yeah. I'm owning this guy. Doesn't even know what to do. Oh, look at him back there. So slow and crap. Compared to moi. Oh, damn it. How come he was a mile back, but the salt was still like up there? Shouldn't there be a brown spot where you are in? Ow, I got too ahead of myself there. I was thinking out flaws in the game's development and I died. Okay, lag, I'm dead. That failed. It's not even like lag from recording, I don't get it. It's like complete glitching. I like end up warped to another part of the map when I do it. Damn it. The laptop is getting so hard. I do all this on the laptop. Okay, go. Okay, and again, we can slow down a bit because he's way behind us. Okay, he's not way behind us, go. Run, meet, run. I don't understand. Fuck, almost. See, he was he should have died from that, unless that is the end and he does die from that. Maybe that's what it is. I'm a pro at games like this. Ever since Big Trip Runner. Big Trip Runner made me aware of how easy some games are. Compared to Big Trip Runner, obviously. Not just like overall easiness. Climb! Climb! Duh. Try the bitchy run then. Bitchy guy. Whatever he's called. I've done that. I'm running across roofs. Nice little fight for me. Oh god. Go! Look at that brown. He's such a brown. Oh god damn it. Right, we're gonna, we're gonna make it so that the salt. I don't know if it like goes on a timer or if it just arrives at certain points. Okay. I'm just gonna keep doing it anyway. So if I went a lot faster, which I can't do anyway, but if I did, then would the salt still be in the same position anyway? That's what I mean. Another good game, just thought of first, well not the first, one of the, the first arcade sort of best shooter I played was Torrent Rage Wars, but an awesome one, Time Space 3, Future Perfect, but except by yourself playing it sort of, sort of depressing, because, <laughs> because it's supposed to be played pretty much properly. That game has, see nowadays, not many games have like team deathmatch with bots, and if they do, the bots sort of suck in every possible way. At times, player was a game to play with bots because it was online, but I think the server shut down. But and <coughs> oh god, why? Did you see that lag? But yeah, it was a game to play with bots, and they were awesome. Character skins, different, different. I should use the characters and stuff. Like, some guy that had five stars on each thing, and then you faced him, and it was like an impossible bot. To make teams and everything, like zombies versus army people. And then you could make, like, me and my brother. I think my, um, my profile name was Moon Pie. Don't ask me why. Actually, do ask me why. I got from Simpsons, I think. But it doesn't the future. Well, it doesn't... That old guy, I forgot his name is, the one with a beard, he gets frozen, and he wakes up, and he's like, Moon pie. Uh, what kind of future is this? Except, not like that at all. It says that, it just sounds different. That's where I got it from. 
I don't know what he was called. But anyway, we made a team called the Freaks or something. It was like his sock with legs. But God damn it, why? I'm just telling a story as I saw it die. It's like a. It's called Mr. Socky, the first member. And he's a sock. He's a sock puppet, and his legs are like fingers. Then there's Dozer. He's a floating fat guy, he's like Buddha. But he's not many legs, he's got like a floating board. And then there's, um. Hans. Who. have like a massive head, he wears a bra. Then there's, um. I'm not making these up by the way, these are real. In fact, I might just go on it now. Have a look if I'm getting these right. Then there's Mr. Hands. That's just, he's got a face for a, he's got a hand for a face. Gingerbread Man. I'm not sure how many were on the team, I think they were less than this, but these are all like the weird ones I can think of. Go, 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 go. go. Yeah, there's Mr. Hand. Or Hands. Yes, I did it. Right. As this, he's like a hand for a face, and then there's, um. Calamari. Yes, you die. No! Kill him. I don't like him, he's got like weird No! Actually I like him now. Leave him alone. Don't do it. No. Jesus. It's like No! No! It's like some film, but I forgot what film. Oh, stupid worm. I don't know what that is. I'm gonna find out. No. Hey, what's he doing? He's got a switch. Ow! <laughs> I thought he was gonna actually do something with that. Like, press a button and have an awesome plan, but he just sort of killed me with it. He just threw it in my face. So we're in hell, because he just killed us with a switch. Oops. Oh well. I didn't even skip that bit. Basically, I'd, he dies and goes to hell, because I've seen it before. I've never played before, I've seen some play before though. That would be no good. So, this is going to be the point where it starts getting annoying. Like, like, annoying as in, WHY DON'T YOU DO IT?! And then you like, throw the controller across the... I haven't done that in ages and I so want to. Like, you know it's a good rage ready game when you throw your control. And you know it's a good control when it doesn't break. Like the old PS2 ones, they were so sturdy and awesome. GameCubes are alright, Xboxes, the original Xbox, if you threw that at, you'd want to like get out of the way because it was like, you'd take someone's head off because it was like a brick, basically. Uh, a brick with handles, so pretty dangerous. So if you threw that, you'd want to like, I don't know, you'd go through a wall maybe. But anyway, and then, so yeah, PS2 was pretty sturdy. And then you had your GameCube ones, they're pretty good. Then you had, um... What am I supposed to do? Oh wait, here. Yeah. I saw that. Then you have your PS3, and I have actually thrown one of them. They're not very sturdy. That's not like a jab at the PS3, but they're just not. God damn it. Especially the sticks and... You know the little odd... R2 and L2 buttons they have. They're like, sort of, can't decide whether they want to be buttons or um, triggers. Those are so, like, annoying. They loosen off, like, straight away. I don't know why I died then. They loosen proper if you throw them. I know that sounds, like, pretty obvious because you shouldn't be throwing them anyway, pretty much, but. And the sticks get pretty loose as well. The, especially the right stick, and they get worn down pretty fast. My brother got through like three, and I'm never going to do that. Man. Nope, I should have jumped a bit earlier. My brother's got through a few. God damn it! They do actually see, seem to break quicker. I'm just saying that. They might not. That might just be my experience with them, but they do. Oh crap, why did I do that? Why did I do that at all? Then you've got your Wii controllers, they're fucking diamond. I had my uncle that once and he let go of it while playing 
tennis on Wii Sports and it, it like made like a dint in the ceiling and the remote worked fine. The nunchucks, they're pretty good. I've hit them around a bit, like not on purpose, but swinging it around like, you know what you like. Crap! I it then. If you're a boy and you've got nunchucks in your hand, and you start swinging them around, and you hit the car. No, you just hit like a wall and then you're like, oh no, I broke it. But then you realise that they actually happened, and you're like, oh thank god. It's the same if you get your hand on like, I don't know, something else, but I forgot what I was going to say. Because I just did it. Yes, it doesn't matter anymore. Yeah, you want to go? Well, oh crap. I was convinced I was going to do it the first. Okay, I'm dead this time. What? See that? Holy crap, I'm going to do it. Ultimate glitch. Ultimate glitch. I'm going to I'm going to copy that bit out. What the hell's happening? It's not even killing me. Why? What the hell? This game is so glitchy. I need to record just that bit and post it like ultimate glitchy meat boy. That was weird. Right, anyway. Um, see, there's that one that just stays down there, but he doesn't die. Yeah, that was weird. I forgot what I'm saying now. Yeah, if you get your hand on something that's destructive, you want to dis use it for destructive purposes. Don't know what the hell these are supposed to be. Bubbles, perhaps. Oh, don't think I'm supposed to do that. Fatal. Yeah, I can get the bubbles. What am I supposed to do? Looks like I'm supposed to do that by which way, actually. What else am I supposed to do? Hey? Am I supposed to, like, charge? Ah. Need a drink. Hold on a second. Fuck it. Okay, let's keep going anyway. Hmm. See? <laughs> this is where it starts getting really annoying. Played some more Master 3, and the story is awesome, as you might expect, if you've played them before. I need to play some multiplayer, probably, actually. The multiplayer is really good to say it's not. Why am I stuck in this loop? Okay. Just. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, not good. Yeah, the multiplayer is um, pretty awesome. It's pretty similar to single player. Well, actually, it's nothing like it. I mean, the classes are and stuff like that. But it's just like Survive Against Waves, which is like common multiplayer crap. Ah. Oh yeah, that was awesome. Don't question that. I'm going to do this the first time now. Okay, not the f mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna try and do that again. Wow. That was pretty badass. Well, not badass, because it's not that. I'm gonna die doing that. Oh, March 23rd. There's an evil raccoon Operation City comes out. All the way around. It's not like a vet game where you operate on a food grid game. It's Operation Raccoon City. <sighs> and I'm going to get that, and a friend is going to get that, and we're going to play, and I'm going to be Nemesis. Nemesis from Resident Evil 3, if you're familiar. And if you're not, why? Yeah, Xbox has an exclusive mode with this, with um, Raccoon City. Get to play. Well, that was a bit unfair. You get to play as um, Nemesis and you have to hunt down. One of you is Nemesis. The way I understand it, because I obviously didn't have it yet, and it hasn't been explained all that well, but. One of you is Nemesis. Then there's four stars, I think, and four umbrella. They're the teams, 
and the umbrella. No, it might not be umbrella. I think it's actually somewhat completely different. How did that kill me? But yeah, and the so the other people like command him, command Nemesis. Nemesis like I used to be proper scared of him. He was like the scariest thing when I was young. Nemesis. I don't understand that bit. What am I supposed to do? Yeah, like, just searching Resident Evil. Ah. I need to hold on. Just one second. Right, anyway, like I was saying. Just search Resident Evil 3. Nemesis. And you will see what I mean. Imagine if you were six. Like the first time I got the, well, I got the game from Troy, I remember this. I got quite a memory for like stupid things, but not for good things I need to know. Um, what do I need to do? Let's see. If that, there's a ball that sort of jumps across. Okay. No. Whoa, that was close. Yeah. I got it from Toys R Us. I remember that on PS One. After buying some like action figures, because I was six. Um, and, what am I going to say? I can't even remember. God damn it! These things are so distracting. Uh, yeah. I would. I didn't play it the first day I got it. It scared the crap out of me. Just the front cover. If you look at the front cover, it is actually quite, um, different and scary. Um, yeah, so I didn't do that, because... I some first I actually played it that scared me also because the zombies were like Ugh. you know like zombie noise. I'm sure you know what to do seeing your like games or whatever with them in films maybe. Damn it! That reminds me, Walking Dead. Do any of you watch that? It's an awesome awesome series. Of series, TV series. Even. It's pretty good, and like every well, like many good things, it's originally a comic book. Mm, apparently, I read it. Like V for Vendetta, comic book. Watchmen, that's obviously a comic book. Didn't know that. V for Vendetta, that's by Vertigo. I think Watchmen, DC, but specific branch like Wildstorm. And like, then there's um, somewhere else. <laughs> Trust me, there are other good ones, I just don't know them. The spirit, spirit is it? The spirit? It, they're by the same people that make 300, but I never watched it, so it's quite good. I'm not sure what it's called. But yeah, there's that, that's supposed to be good. Watch me glitch. I'm getting glitch at time. It looked like they were moving super fast and then balls. Um, some other things and all. Batman, obviously. That, the actual, the new Batman's really good. Dark Knight. Um, what else? Thor, obviously. These are quite good films, actually. If you think about it. Green Lantern was a good film. Green Lantern was okay. Captain America was okay. Captain America was one of them films where you feel like there's n it's weird. It's like it never even properly started. Like they don't show you that much of like what he's probably come out of the And now I'm dead. They don't show you like much stuff. They like show you him rescuing people, yeah. And it's just annoying really, I think. Green Lantern was similar. It's like one films where you don't think it even gets properly started and then it's finished. They'd probably know what I mean. Like they should have made it longer, or they should have just like changed the story a bit so it worked properly. <clears throat> I forgot what I did the first time now, this thing, and it's really annoying now. God damn it, how am I supposed to do it? Okay, the second that that one comes out.
No, that didn't work. Oh, that works. No! Some other good comics. I like comics. These. They're good. There's nothing wrong with liking comics. Except for the depressing loneliness. No. <laughs> comics are awesome. And that works. What do you know? God damn it! I'm gonna have to finish this session soon. My mum got the Breaking Dawn part 1, I think it is, on DVD. Ugh. Load of crap. Still watch it, like. <laughs> Might as well, it's a DVD. And it can't actually be, like... It can't be too bad, I suppose. Or it could be, but it can't be the worst film I've seen. Trust me, I've seen crap films. Like... Oh, like crap, now I'm trying to think of the worst film I've seen. What is the worst film you've seen? The worst one I've seen is like... Um... I don't know. I used to think V for Vendetta was so crap. This... Remember I watched it when I was like 10. Probably less than that. Um... What's the worst one I've seen? I don't know. The worst one I've paid to see... Ghost Rider. I hated that. But that's not the worst one I've seen because of... I hate films that are nothing like the thing they're based on, 